Hello students, how are you all? Welcome to Affairs Cloud, Learn to Lead. My name is Vikas Rana. So students, we have an app by the name Careers Cloud which you can go and download through the Play Store for Android phones. Once you have downloaded and logged in with your Gmail ID, you will be transferred to your home page where you can see all the courses that are offered by us. Once you have purchased the course, you can see your courses in the My Course section. But why our courses are so better? Why we think we provide you one of the best content? Because we provide you content on daily basis. In the daily basis, we provide you current affairs with 20 questions quiz as well as the PDF of the current affairs of daily. Then similarly for weekly, on weekly basis, we provide you current affairs PDF as well as a 50 questions quiz that will help you to revise all the content that you have learned. Then on monthly basis also, we provide you top 100 current affair questions PDF that will be the compiled PDF of the 100 questions of that particular month that will be very helpful for you. And not just this friends, we provide you in English as well as in Hindi too. So both English and Hindi students can enjoy our courses. Apart from this friends, we also provide you banking related question answers, the banking related MCQ questions, the quizzes that will help you prepare for the bank exams. Not just that friends, we provide you a new way of learning that is your infotainment infographics that is a different and interesting way of learning. Apart from this, we cover 20 topic wise current affairs. These topics are important such as apps portals, important days, books and authors days, uh, national affairs, international affairs, sports, defense, all these topics, these are highly important and questions from these particular topics are asked. Also, we cover state-wise current affairs also that will help you to prepare for your state exams. Also friends, as I told you, if you use the code VIKAS10, you will be given extra 10% discount on the purchase you make. If you have any problem regarding login and your application, then you can contact us on support at the rate of affairscloud.com this is our email id and you can contact us on our mobile phone that is 9677333862 hello students how are you all i hope you are all good so students in this video we will be discussing important current affairs of the first week of august very important session i'll suggest you all to pause the video here itself take out your notes that you have been making and revise those notes first once the revision is done of those notes, then move on to the video and then watch the video. All right. So it will be a better way to revise things. Quote for the day is when something is important enough, you do it. Even the odds are not in your favor. All right. And it was said famously by Elon Musk. Also, friend, like the video, subscribe to our channel as well as comment below. If you find that the content we are providing is up to the mark and if you revise a lot of things from this content, do comment below. Also, share the link of this video with your friends, relatives, colleagues, neighbors and let them know about Affairs Cloud. That Affairs Cloud is a one-stop solution where current affairs is provided and friends do let them know about Vikas Rana sir also that he teaches a current affairs at affairs cloud in a such a good way that all the current affairs are memorized by all the students watching the video doing homework and revision on the daily basis so friends let's start with the questions the first question that is being asked here is the point 5140 at Dras that is in Kargil sector was renamed to what it was renamed to gun hill all right, I repeat, 0.5140. This was located at Dras in Karlil sector, and this point was renamed to Gunhill to commemorate the victory of Indian Armed Forces in the Operation Vijay 1999. Highly important. Mark this question. All right, so the correct option here will be option second. Next, the Bob card, as the name Bob's card. So remember, Bob, what is the bank related to Bob? Bob is your Bank of Baroda. Alright, so Bank of Baroda Financial Solutions Limited launched a credit card serving a mobile application that was named Bob Card. Question asked here is that Bob Card has been designed in collaboration with which organization? It has been designed in collaboration with IBM. So correct option is option first that the Bob Card has been designed in collaboration with IBM and it is user friendly with an, an attractive design including secured access with face ID, fingerprint lock, pin and a smart eye feature that ensures the card details of customer remains private. Next, which company organization recently delivered the indigenously developed compact vehicles that was named 
क्विक रिएक्शन फाइटिंग व्हीकल मीडियम टू द इंडियन आर्मी टू बूस्ट सर्वेलेंस आई रिपीट टाटा एडवांस सिस्टम्स लिमिटेड हैज रिसेंटली डिलीवर्ड द इंडिजीनियसली डेवलप्ड कॉम्बैक्ट व्हीकल्स नेम्ड क्विक रिएक्शन फाइटिंग व्हीकल मीडियम टू द इंडियन आर्मी टू बूस्ट द बॉर्डर सर्वेलेंस हाईली इंपॉर्टेंट टी एस एल टाटा एडवांस सिस्टम्स लिमिटेड बिकेम इंडिया फर्स्ट प्राइवेट सेक्टर कंपनी टू टू प्रोड्यूस एंड डिलीवर व्हील्ड आर्मर कॉम्बैट रेडी व्हीकल्स फॉर द इंडियन आर्म फोर्सेस ऑल राइट इंपॉर्टेंट ऑप्शन फोर्थ इज करेक्ट नेक्स्ट हु ऑथर्ड द बुक दैट इज द लाइट वी कैरी ओवरकमिंग इन अनसर्टेन टाइम्स इज सेट टू बी रिलीज दिस बुक वॉज ऑथर्ड बाय मिशेल ओबामा हाईली इंपॉर्टेंट All right the new book that is the light we carry overcoming in certain in uncertain times authored by Michelle Obama the former first lady of United States of America is to be released this book will be published by globally by penguin random house and it will be released in the US and Canada by crown an imprint of the random penguin house group next which year is declared as the international year of millets by the United Nations important question friends it is the year of 2020 3 will be declared as the international year of the millets by United Nations highly important many programs have been planned by the central government at the local state national and international level next who recently won the 109th edition of the Tour de France cycling race that will be held in Paris France so Jonas Wingard Jonas Wingard has won the 109th edition of the Tour de France cycling race that will be held in Paris and remember this is the first Tour de France title in Paris France highly important all right correct option option 4th next responsible ai for youth 2022 program was created by the national e governance division under the ministry of information and technology in collaboration with which company so remember the responsible ai that is responsible Arti artificial intelligence for youth 2022 program was created with the help of intel india all right the program will be open to all the school students it will be open to school students of which class of 8 to 12th class all right highly important next Neera Chopra gold known by the name golden boy has won the silver medal at the world athletics championship of 2022 in Oregon he also won his first gold medal of this year that is 2022 at the cotton games next max verstappen has won the emilia romagna grand prix he also won the azerbaijan grand prix and french f1 grand prix also karuna jain has announced retirement from all the forms of cricket Casper Rudd has won the Swiss Open 2020 Euro. Important. India will be hosting the ICC Women's World Cup for the year 2025. SCI Created has started the Create for India campaign to cheer Team India at the Commonwealth Games. We will be talking about the 44th edition of the Chess Olympiad. Where is this happening? In Chennai, Tamil Nadu, from 28th of July. PV Sindhu and Manpreet Singh, very important friends. PV Sindhu and Manpreet Singh has been named India's flag wearers for Common Commonwealth Games 2022 and don't worry friends all those students who are asking for Commonwealth Games the video will be uploaded for them soon Next three new countries including Cambodia Uzbekistan and Cote d'Ivoire has received the IOC membership status Leicester cricket ground was named after which player which or which former player after Sunil Gavaskar coming back to game uh, news uh, mcq friend which country recently commenced the fourth edition of the al naja four joint military exercise along with india and rajasthan this al naja this exercise was conducted between india and oman where was this conducted it was conducted in rajasthan highly important all right where was this conducted in Majan field firing range of Madhya Rajasthan then remember the armies of these two countries took part in this particular exercise this will be from 12 to 25th of march uh, uh, this exercise will be from 1st to 13th of august i correct myself not march 1st to 13th of august all right 
सो करेक्ट ऑप्शन हेयर इज इट वॉज बिटवीन द आर्मीज ऑफ इंडिया एंड ओमान नेक्स्ट द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ स्टील कॉन्स्टिट्यूटेड एन एडवाइजरी कमिटी फॉर सेकेंडरी स्टील अंडर द चेयरमैनशिप ऑफ होम सो रिमेंबर इट वॉज अंडर द चेयरमैनशिप ऑफ ज्योतिरादित्य एम सिंधिया द ऑब्जेक्टिव हेयर इज टू आइडेंटिफाई द इश्यूज परटेनिंग टू द स्टील सेक्टर स्पेशली द सेकेंडरी स्पेशली द सेकेंडरी स्टील इंडस्ट्री ऑल राइट हाईली इंपॉर्टेंट सो मूविंग ऑन करेक्ट ऑप्शन हेयर इज अंडर द चेयरमैनशिप ऑफ ज्योतित आदित्य राय एम सिंधिया नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन प्रधानमंत्री व्यय वंदना योजना कंप्लीटेड फाइव ईयर्स ऑन ट्वेंटी फर्स्ट ऑफ जुलाई ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू क्वेश्चन आज इज प्रधानमंत्री व्यय वंदना योजना लॉन्च इन टू थाउजेंड सेवेंटीन बाय विच मिनिस्ट्री इट वॉज लॉन्च बाय द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ फाइनेंस वॉट इज दिस स्कीम दम हेयर अंडर दिस प्रधानमंत्री व्यय वंदना योजना द मिनिमम इन्वेस्टमेंट रिक्वायर टू पार्टिसिपेट इन दिस स्कीम हैज बिन इंक्रीज फ्रॉम वन लैख फिफ्टी सिक्स थाउजेंड फॉर अ पेंशन ऑफ ट्वेल्व थाउजेंड पर ईयर एंड टू इट हैज बिन इंक्रीज टू वन लैख सिक्सटी टू थाउजेंड फॉर अ पेंशन ऑफ एटलीस्ट वन थाउजेंड रुपीज पर मंथ एंड वॉट इज दिस प्रधानमंत्री व्यय वंदना योजना स्कीम दिस स्कीम वॉज बेसिकली लॉन्च इन टू थाउजेंड सेवेंटीन बाय द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ फाइनेंस टू ऑफर अ गारंटेड पे आउट ऑफ पेंशन टू सीनियर सिटीजन एवरी मंथ द स्कीम कैन बी परचेज ऑफलाइन एज वेल एज ऑनलाइन थ्रू लाइफ इंश्योरेंस कॉरपोरेशन विच हैज बिन गिवन द सोल प्रिवलेज टू ऑपरेट दिस स्कीम नेक्स्ट नेम द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन दैट रिसेंटली अडोप्टेड अ रेजोल्यूशन दैट रिकॉग्नाइज द राइट टू क्लीन हेल्थी एंड सस्टेनेबल एनवायरमेंट एज ह्यूमन राइट आई रिपीट यू हैव टू नेम द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन दैट रिसेंटली अडोप्टेड द रेजोल्यूशन दैट रिकॉग्नाइज द राइट टू अ क्लीन हेल्थी एंड सस्टेनेबल एनवायरमेंट एज अ सस्टेनेबल एज अ ह्यूमन राइट विच वॉज इट इट वॉज योर यूनाइटेड नेशन जनरल असेंबली सो फिफ्थ ऑप्शन नॉट गिवन हेयर यूनाइटेड नेशन जनरल असेंबली यू एन जी ए इज द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन दैट हैज अडोप्टेड अ रेजोल्यूशन दैट रिकॉगनाइज दैट राइट टू अ क्लीन हेल्थी एंड सस्टेनेबल एनवायरमेंट एज अ ह्यूमन राइट हाईली इंपॉर्टेंट द रेजोल्यूशन वॉज अडोप्टेड विद वन हंड्रेड एंड सिक्सटी वन वोट्स इन फेवर एंड एट एबसेंटीज द रेजोल्यूशन रिकॉगनाइज क्लीन ड्रिंकिंग वाटर एंड सैनिटेशन एज असेंशियल टू द realization of all human rights so correct option united nation general assembly next according to the bloomberg's billionaire index savitri jindal of india became the asia's richest woman by surpassing dash so according to the bloomberg's billionaire index as on 29th of july 2022 savitri jindal became of india became the asia's richest woman by surpassing yang yang huian of china All right, highly important. Yang Huan of China has been surpassed by uh, Savitri Jindal because of the property crisis that is going on in China, and Yang Huan is having a lot of property in China. Also, remember she almost lost around one billion dollars in just one day. All right, and if we talk about Sha Savitri Jindal, she has a eh, Eleven point three billion dollar fortune in the Jindal Group, and she is the richest India's richest woman and the tenth richest person in India out of one point four billion people. Next, next is third Muslim Women Rights Day of twenty twenty two was observed across India on first of August. All right, I repeat. Third edition of the Muslim Women Right Day was observed across India on the first of August. Highly important. All right. Here, it remember if we talk about it, this also commemorates the enactment of the Muslim Women that is Protection of the Marriage Act of two thousand nineteen that prohibits the practice of triple talaq in India. First of August twenty twenty two marks the third anniversary. Remember of Muslim Women's Rights Day. This. The Triple Talaq Bill, also known as Muslim Women Bill of 2019, was passed by the Parliament on 30th of July 2019 to make instant Islamic, uh, make instant triple talaq a criminal offence. Talaq is an Islamic word for divorce, denoting dissolutions of marriage when a Muslim woman can, a uh, where a Muslim man can sever all marital ties with her women, her or his wife. 
All right. So correct option is on first of August. We observe the third edition of the Muslim Women Rights Day. When was the according to this? Then when was the first edition of this Muslim Women Rights Day observed? It was on first of August in the year twenty twenty. Next, India's biggest ever auction of spectrum that carries telephone and internet data signals began on twenty sixth of July with a total of seventy two gigahertz. Of 5G airways with the total worth of 4.3 lakh crore rupees. So you have to remember in this particular auction that was India's biggest ever spectrum auction. The total spectrum that was, uh, you know that was a uh, total spectrum that was auctioned here was of 72 gigahertz, and these are of 5G airways that the worth of these were around 4.3 lakh crore rupees. All right. Next, next is the task force. What task force we are talking about? Here, remember the government of India recently constituted a task force to control the monkeypox cases in India, in order to protect or to in order to uh, limit or in order to take control over the monkey cases in India. Monkeypox cases in India. A task force was created. This task force will be headed by whom? Vinod K. Paul will be heading this particular task force. All right. The task force will monitor and provide guidance on the expansion of diagnostic facilities and to explore vaccination for infection to the people of India. This will be headed by Dr. Vinod Paul, who is the member of Niti Aayog for uh, Niti Aayog and also member including Secretary Union Health Ministry of Pharma and Biotech. Also remember, according to the World Health Organization, more than eighteen thousand cases are reported from. Seventy-eight countries, including India, but in India the least number of cases has been recog uh, recognized. Only around four five cases, amount of which uh, four cases were from Kerala, I guess, and one was from Delhi, and only one death so far. Next, which country recently commenced the third edition of the X Win Back exercise, bilateral army exercise, along with India and Haryana? So we are talking about win backs. So V is for which of them? Vietnam and Venezuela. But remember, it was Vietnam. So Vietnam, along with India, commenced the third edition of this exercise that is win backs. And the location where this exercise was conducted is Haryana. Highly important, friends. All right, and also you have to remember that it was between the army of these two countries, that is Vietnam Army and Indian Army, that this exercise was conducted at Lufdash location, where at Haryana in India. All right, so it is Indian Army, and for Vietnam, it will be Vietnam People's Army. Also, you have to remember here the theme of this exercise, that is twenty twenty two is employment and deployment of an engineer company and a medical team as a part of United Nations contingent for peacekeeping operation. This was basic theme of this particular exercise, that is win backs. Next, name the company that recently signed a two fifty crore rupees contract with the Ministry of Defence for the supply of nine integrated anti submarine warfare complex. Mod C systems, which is it company? It is your Bharat Electronics Limited. That is your Bell B E A B E L. All right. This I O C Mod C has been indigenously developed by Bell in association with D R D O. And remember, this I O C Mod C system is an integrated anti-submarine warfare system for all the surface ships of Indian Navy. Next question: With which urban cooperative bank, the SIDB, that is Small Industries? and development bank in india recently partnered for the first time to empower msme sector so which is it is your svc bank all right so svc is your urban cooperative bank that is the uh, with which the sidbi has partnered for the first time to empower msme sector all right next name the bank that recently launched industry's first and men focused committee called prerna 2.0 empower him so i have i have i have told you this empower him as well as empower her both of these organization or both of these committees were launched by which organization it was your union bank of india be it empower him or be it empower her both of them were launched by union bank of india next 
with who was recently appointed as the chief executive officer of Vodafone India Limited. So Akshay Mundra has been appointed as the new chief executive officer of Vodafone India Limited. All right, highly important. Remember, he will be replacing whom? He will be replacing Ravindra Takkar. All right, he will be replacing Ravindra Takkar, who was appointed in 2019 for three years and now for again three years who has been appointed Akshay Mundra as the new CEO of Vodafone India Limited. Next, after the addition of new districts, the total number of districts in West Bengal has increased to dash. How many total number of districts are there in West Bengal now? So there are a total number of 30 districts now. All right. There were earlier 23 districts. Now seven districts were added. The so total number of districts are now 30 in West Bengal. And who has been given the additional charge of West Bengal? And he is La Ganeshan. Next, the dash edition of the International Film Festival will be held in Jammu and Jammu and Kashmir in September 2022. It will be the second edition of the International Film Festival that will be held in Jammu of Jammu and Kashmir in September 2020. This will be the first ever International Film Festival held here in September. The, fir the first ever international film festival was held here in 2019 September and now remember the event was on the cold shelf for the last two years due to COVID-19 pandemic and now the second edition of the international film festival will be held in Jammu, Jammu and Kashmir. Namaste. What is Namaste? Recently remember government of India formulated a Namaste scheme for cleaning of sewers and septic tank. So you have to tell me the full form of Namaste only not just E. Namaste here stands for what? National Action Plan for Mechanized Sanitization Ecosystem. I repeat, National Action Plan for Mechanized Sanitation and Ecosystem. This is your Namaste scheme. All right. So here E stands for what? E stands for ecosystem. Namaste scheme is a joint venture of the Department of Drinking Water and Sanitation with Ministry of Social Justice and Empowerment and the Ministry of Housing and Urban Affairs. This Namaste scheme replaces the self-employment scheme for rehabilitation of manual scavengers, which was introduced in January 2007. Next. Next question is. Next question is government of India recently made e-voicing that is your electronic billing mandatory for the businesses with a turnover of 10 crore rupees from 1st of October 2022. Remember, I repeat, the government of India made e-voicing mandatory for the businesses with a turnover of 10 crore rupees from 1st of October 2022 compulsory. Next, 20 members market advisory committee was chaired by whom? Remember, SEBI has restructured the Market Data Advisory Committee. This Market Data Advisory Committee is a 20 members committee and this will be chaired by whom? It will be chaired by MS Saho. Option B is correct. MS Saho. All right. Highly important. Next, name the personality who was recently appointed as the World Bank's country director of India. This question is also important, friends. So who will be the... Uh, Director, World Bank's country director for India, he is Agaste Tano Kuame. All right, he will be the World Bank's country director for India. Earlier, he was the country director for uh, Cote de Ivor, and now he has been appointed as the country. Uh, sorry, earlier he was the country, the World Bank's country director for Turkey, and now he has been appointed as the country director, World Bank's country director for India. Highly important, Agaste Tano Kuame. Next, which country will host the 2025 ICC Women's One Day International World Cup? And we just saw this in one-liner format that it is our India that will be hosting the 2025 ICC Women's One Day International World Cup. All right, highly important, friends. Then if we talk about 2024 Women's T20 World Cup, it will be hosted by Bangladesh. After two years in 2026, Women's ICC T20 World Cup will be hosted by England. Next, who co-authored the book that is Do Different the Untold Dhoni along with Amit Sinha? This book was authored by Joy Bhattacharya. I repeat, who co-authored the book Do Different the Untold Dhoni along with Amit Sinha? He is Joy Bhattacharya. Highly important. In this book, remember, 
uh, it highlights the journey of famous indian cricketer mahendra singh dhoni and some other books about mahendra singh dhoni are the dhoni touch captain cool think and win like dhoni next in which state shaidri tiger reserve is located direct and simple question so it is in maharashtra so also remember recently national board for wildlife allow, uh, allowed the drilling investigation in the shaidri tiger reserve which experiences high seismic activity due to the koina dam so question asked here is this shaidri tiger reserve is located where it is located in maharashtra next at present how many ramsar sites are there in india so as of now as of today remember there are a total of 64 ramsar sites in india earlier 49 then 5 were added then after that 10 more sites were added which begins which totals to the total number of sites in india as 64 next the bill was the first proposed in 2017 drafted by a committee under the chairmanship of whom remember here we are talking about data protection bill data protection bill of 2021 has been withdrawn from the lok sabha by the union minister ashwini vaishnav after 4 years of deliberation this was the first bill proposed in 2017 that was drafted by the committee under the chairmanship of bn shri krishna all right highly important this data protection bill of 2021 the was recently taken away that means it was withdrawn also remember the government of india aims to replace the personal data protection bill with a comprehensive legal framework intended to tackle all of the current and future challenges of the digital ecosystem so correct option here is it was launched under the chairmanship of bn krishna next world's largest floating solar plant is said to be built on the omkareshwar dam in narmada river that is at the khandwa in madhya pradesh where is it where is it it is in khandwa madhya pradesh so coming back world's largest floating solar power plant is to be set to be built at the omkareshwar dam it will be built on the omkareshwar dam that is in the narmada river and where is it located in the khandwa district of madhya pradesh this will generate around 600 megawatt of renewable energy by the year 2022 2023 this is estimated to be built at the cost of 3000 crore rupees next which ministry recently signed an mou with the ministry of tourism and national small industries corporation for sharing udyam data it is your ministry of msme all right highly important ministry of msme celebrated the landmark of 1 crore rupees registrations on its udyam portal on the occasion ministry of msme signed an mou with the ministry of tourism and national small industries corporation for sharing of the udyam data highly important msme ministry also announced that the udyam certificate will be available in the digital locker facility and the msme ministry also launched the digital locker facility for udyam registration so correct option is option 4th next name the bank that recently became the first bank to list payment gateway platform on the tax information number network 2.0 that is your tin 2.0 network so which is the first bank here it will be the federal bank important question friends question will be direct to you and ask that which is the first bank to list payment gateway platform on the tin 2.0 platform it is your federal bank next who is the present governor of kerala who is the present governor of kerala tell me arif mohammed khan is the present governor of kerala next what is the capital of angola what is the capital of angola and why we are talking about angola because largest pink diamond largest pink diamond in 3000 years or uh, 300 years was found here in angola and it was named lulo ross it was named lulo ross and what is the capital of angola then remember it is luanda next in shore we are talking about shore remember recently serb serb shore what is serb science and engineering research board under the ministry of science and technology has recently introduced a new innovative scheme that was named serb shore to create the research and development ecosystem what does here shore stands for here first of all you should know the full form of shore shore is your what shore is your state university research excellence all right state university research excellence so this e here stands for excellence option 4 is correct it is the new scheme that fosters collaboration for high end research and enhance 
research capabilities in a structured way in order to create a healthy research and development ecosystem in the state universities and colleges next by which aircraft the indian navy's all women crew led by achal sharma recently created history by completing the first independent maritime surveillance mission over the northern arabian sea first of all you have to remember it was head by whom it was head by Achal Sharma. All right, it was led by Achal Sharma. Then you have to name the remember. Uh, you have to remember the name of the aircraft. It was Dornier two two eight aircraft. Highly important. And the location where did they did surveillance was your Northern Arabian Sea. Next, who recently received the Chevalier Award of France for his contribution to the publishing co collaboration between India and France? Who was he? He was. Kanan Sundram. He was Kanan Sundram who received the Chevalier Award of France for his contribution to the publishing collaboration between India and France. Important. A ceremony to confer the award will be organized in Delhi at the residence of French ambassador in September or October. And this award, that is also known as the French or uh, Order of the Merit with Membership Award by the President of French Republic, was awarded to him. It was founded in the year 1963. That means in 1963, first time this Chevalier Award of France was presented. Next, which company recently announced the initiative named Startup School India for Small City Entrepreneurs? It was your which company? It was Google that has announced the initiative that was Startup School India for Small City Entrepreneurs. Highly important question, friends. All right, it is Google. Moving on. Next, from which main battle tank DRDO and Indian Army jointly tested fired the indigenously developed laser guided anti tank guided missile? It was from the main battle tank that was named Arjun. That was named Arjun. So, correct option here is main battle tank Arjun Mark 1A. It was the tank that used was used by DRDO and Indian Army to test the laser guided anti tank guided missiles. Next, name the country that recently launched the first ever lunar mission named the Nuri by SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket from the Cape Canaveral Space Station in Cape Canaveral, USA. So, remember which is the uh, company and uh, which is the country of which this mission is the Nuri. So, remember this the Nuri is of which country? It is of South. It is of South Korea. Highly important. You have to remember the name of the country, the Nuri, the name of the country that is South Korea, of which this mission was launched. And the, the rocket that took them, this the Nuri satellite into space, was a SpaceX rocket that was named Falcon 9. Highly important. All right. So, friends, we are on the few last questions. Let's discuss. The Arunachal Pradesh cabinet approved the naming of the under construction Greenfield Airport, Doni Polo Airport. If we talk about this Doni Polo Airport, we have discussed this multiple times also. That Doni Polo in this Doni stands for here sun, Doni stands for sun, and Polo here stands for moon. This airport is located in Itanagar, that is in Arunachal Pradesh. Next question is in respect to monkey market instrument, the term monkey. The money market instrument, I repeat, I confused it with monkey pox. So, in respect to money market instrument, the term money refers to borrowing lending of funds for a period exceeding of 14 days. Alright, I repeat, here this term money refers to borrowing lending of funds for period exceeding 14 days. So, correct option here is option 1. Next question is, first Himalayan spice garden was inaugurated in Rani Khet. You have to tell me Ranikhet is a hill station in which station or in which state or union territory. Ranikhet, where is Ranikhet located? A very simple and easy question, friends. Direct question is asked to you that Ranikhet is located in which state or union territory. Tell me, Ranikhet is located in Uttarakhand. Next, name the exercise that was recently conducted by Indian Army to test the resilience of the satellite-based communication network. It was Skylight. All right, the Indian Army performed a pan India exercise called Skylight, and it was to test the uh, resilience or it was to test the communication networks of Indian satellites. If in case in future we go war in war, then our equipment should be well prepared. Dash became the first city in India to officially release the Environmental Insight Explorer data from Google. 
which was it it was aurangabad maharashtra important this data would help the research groups in developing sustainable solutions in aurangabad and will also improve the environmental and society also eie data is consistent with aurangabad's commitment to the united nations with respect to race to zero and race to resilience program next we are talking about a 15 member committee that will be headed by whom which 15 member committee are we talking about remember recently sebi has constituted a foreign portfolio investment advisory committee this was a 15 member advisory committee that will be headed by kv subramanyam this committee will take care of the increasing participation in the domestic bond market and former chief economic advisor kv subramanyam has been appointed as the chairman of this committee important next question is name the company that recently launched an online project named india ki udan to mark the 75 years of independence so india ki udan to and to mark the 75 year of independence this project india ki udan was launched by which company it was launched by google the project is executed by google arts and culture and it is themed on the unwavering and undying spirit of india over the past 75 years and it was to celebrate the 75 years of Indi- india's independence next who was recently appointed as the cabinet secretary for a further period of 1 year important question who is he rajiv goba has been extended or his period has been extended as the cabinet secretary for a period of 1 more year highly important all right and this will be his second appoint or second extension on this particular post so friends that's all for the day i hope you have enjoyed our session if you want us to continue with such sessions all you have to do is comment below and let us know what are your views on such type of sessions and if you have enjoyed the session if you find the content to be appropriate do comment below that will motivate us and to make better content for you in the future that's all for the day friends i hope you enjoyed the session and you can follow us on the youtube channel as well as apart from youtube channel you can go and follow us at affairs cloud telegram channel and if you have any queries related to the content or the of courses offered to you or the payment which you did on the application you can contact us on the number provided that is 76773362 apart from this friends you can follow us on the facebook as well as on instagram handle that is affairs cloud underscore official in the end friends if you use a code that is vikas10 you will be getting an additional extra 10% discount by using this code vikas10 also if you have any problem regarding the course purchase any problem regarding to our application you can contact us on the mobile number that is 9677333862 and if you want to mail us you can also mail us on support@affairscloud.com and i assure you that our representative from us will be contacting you soon and resolving your issue